This is Shiree, popularly known as the Hanging Village. This community has been here for over 900 years. It is located at Nkwanta Sub Municipal District in the OT region of Ghana. This whole community is surrounded by mountains and thick forests. Most of the people are idol worshippers, few are Christians, and the only church is Roman Catholic Church. When somebody dies in town, there is a ritual they do to determine whether the person is right, uh, righteous or evil. If you are evil, you are buried outskirts. If you are righteous, you are buried in town. And the wow. rationale is that when uh, you are buried in town, you still communion with the living. Okay. Even if you are dead, so it motivates others to do good because after that, you still after death, you still live with the living. Yes. This village is settled on a mountain which is about 200 to 300 meters above sea level. So, guys, as you can see, um, there is another area view of the community, and you can see the community view in steps. Their homes are made of rocks and clay built on terrace. All right, so this, uh, yeah. how come um, they live there? Is this stones or? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Under the building. Well, what is its purpose? You see, because it's along the mountain, oh, okay. in order to get uh, a flat land, it's difficult. So, what they do is they put a little. Assuming this is a mountain. They dig a little here. As they are digging, they are laying these tools at this side. Then they are getting a flat at this point. So when you look at this one, this area we are standing, the back there has been made. Yeah, so they leave the stones like this to raise that part. So as they are raising, they are digging this part wow. level. And that how come they get the level ground. So after they level, then they then pull the structures on it. But one thing is because of erosion. This has been eroded. Yeah, I can see it. that. Because initially, this was the foot of the structure. So, structure. so, it, so what happened if the erosion continues and eventually the stones that were used to lay the foundation, they keep showing what happens to the building at the top? The building is strong because um, it's made of mud. Okay. And this uh, foundation is also very strong. No matter okay. what, it will not remove them. You see, oh, okay. this has been this erosion has been for a number of years, but none yeah, of the stones are going to be removed. Yes. So what they do is, in some cases, you see some of the structures, they will put another uh, building here. Yes. So sometimes you just dig, flatten this area without raising the wall again. So this side becomes the entrance. According to history, these people migrated from eastern region area during intertribal wars in the 14th century. The name the Hanging Village was given to them by Europeans due to how far apart they were from the people and within the region many years ago. That is how they go about it. First, the people of Shari are Guans and they speak Achode. Mm -hmm. mm. 
Climbing up to the top of the other buildings that are there, the other homes that are on the mountain. As you can see, this is the Hangi village. All right, finally, we are the highest peak of the village. As you can see, see the area view of the village. I'm about jumping down there. Follow me, let's go. <laughs> All right, finally, we have come to the end of touring the hanging village here in Nkwanta sub districts or Shairi, a village here, popularly known as the Hanging Village. Very lovely place to live and lovely people right here as well. But wait, if you're new to Kelex Revealed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you'll be the first person to get notification anytime we post our video, okay?